Hi, Lord, talk to talk. Like, share, subscribe to the page. Hit the thumbs up button if you like the content. So look, man, look, man, look, man. Good morning to y'all. Good morning. The king is back. You know what it is. You know what it is. You know what it is. Look, man. So, um, the king was sick. You know what I mean? You know, sick enough to not uh do the show yesterday. Um, but I had some episodes. I just decided to drop them a little bit later because it wasn't the appropriate time to drop some of these episodes because uh, you know, I gotta wait for the right moment. Anyway, so this is a uh, Torture Talk 8, 8, 8 a.m. show. And this show, I'm going to be talking about Gunna. And um, is he, uh, what's really going on with him and Young Thug? This is pretty interesting. Um, before I get into that, you know, I got to get my spill. This is Torture Talk. If you like the content, please consider subscribing. If you're new here, let me work for your subscriptions today. All the beautiful, sexy ladies put one in the chat. All the fellas, y'all know where to find the ones at. Just don't harass them. I don't sell no merch, but I do have content absolutely free. But if you want to leave a donation, link's on the screen right here. Cash app, PayPal's in the description. They called me the Hidden Gym. I went from 1,300 subscribers to over 12,000 subscribers yeah and um yeah man um and let me know where you're from before i get into that i want to just thank everybody for being here with me i know sometimes we can have a rough ride you know what i'm saying sometimes i could say some things that ruffle little fellas but hey man we here today it's a new day we here to agree to disagree once again so some things i'm gonna say and it's gonna be some episodes that's gonna really get y'all in y'all feelings again but hey it's what we here for, you know what I'm saying? Let's have a good good dialogue. So look, man, good morning to y'all. If I ain't say good morning, if I ain't say good morning to you, you ain't hear it, but good morning to you. And um, yeah, let's get to it, man. Um, This is going to be a good one, man. This comes courtesy of Deleted. And uh, yeah, let's see what he got to say about uh, Gunna. And um, I'm going to give my commentary as usual. So let's go. So yeah, let's get to it, man. Good morning. Good morning to y'all. Thank y'all for being here. Let's go. From here on out, everything I say is purely fictional and just for laughs. None of it should be taken seriously or considered evidence or used for any legal action. We are not gonna or OT of jam around these parts. This is purely for entertainment. This topic isn't for the soft or powder puff girls either. Go cry to someone who cares. Young Thug officially pulled Gunna's card. For all you goofy snitching ass out here that have defended Gunna, saying he's not a rat, the ones who have been clowning Lil Baby and Lil Dirt about them calling Gunna a snitch and how they look stupid, now that Thugger is out and claiming Gunna and Thug are tight because of one clip, you just expose yourself as the type that nobody should trust ever with anything. All right, so I like I like these videos. I, li I also like talking about uh, the difference between snitching and exposing <laughs> and how I think that uh, I agree with Charleston White on certain things when he talks about snitching. And I disagree with Charleston White on certain things when he talk about snitching. Um, I'm going to get into how I feel about that um, in a second. But uh, let's see what he got to say. And um, let's see if he provides some context of the reason behind it. Because I got a lot to say about this. So let's go. For the gunner in the friend group, the OT of jams. If I was your friends, I'd side-eye the hell out of you. Get away from me. You can't sit with us. You can't sit with us! And Thug, you need to chill the hell out. You are on probation, gang. What are you doing? There's no way you missed the Diddy house this bad already. If you're here to spread that tired ass virtue signaling energy, go ahead and click off now. This topic isn't for you. Yeah. Uh, it's a couple of things I want to say about that. Um, I understand where he coming from when he say, uh, young Thug, you, you are on probation. He's saying, but... I mean, you got to understand, man, some of these dudes are never going to, some of these dudes are just frauds. And what I mean by fraud, I don't mean that they not, uh, like, uh, they're not real in the streets. I'm saying they're frauds when it comes to the, when it comes to talking to the judge, they'll tell the judge whatever they want to hear to get out of jail. Once they get out, then they'll, they're going to go back to their ways. Like, I don't know. I don't know if he's saying that to, uh, I guess, um, you know, encourage him not to do anything to go back to jail, but 
dudes don't care. They don't care. They'll go back to jail because that's what they. This is their whole whole motto. They have to, you know, they're beholden to the streets. But let's keep going. If you don't get street politics, that's fine. But coming here to judge something you know nothing about, that comes off as weak and corny. The streets run on a code of morals and principles, whether you believe in them or not. The same code that helped people rise up from nothing to something. They signed up for a lifestyle with rules that you don't understand and don't need to. Your opinion holds zero weight and no one cares if you get it or not. This video is for those. Nah, I'm not, I'm not rolling with that. That's a hundred percent false, and I'll explain why. See, to me, and I'm gonna talk about this a little more to, at the end. There's no loyalty in the streets. The, the, everything comes with the streets. I know that y'all try to pretend like there's a code in the streets. There's no code in the streets. People betray people. People kill people. People snitch on people. The streets is what it is. It's no code. I don't know still what y'all want to make it a code. Oh, this is a brotherhood. This is a code. But given the right circumstances, people will trade on you. That's all a part of it. All of that is a part of the streets. That's why you shouldn't play in the game because the game is deadly. Whether you trying to be, you can't be an upstanding moral person in the, and, and play in the game of the street game. It don't work like that. You can't have loyalty in the streets. It don't work like that. You could you could act like y'all, yo, yeah, this is what it is, but money talks, bullshit walks. Like you can have loyalty to somebody, that's cool, but you got to understand, in the grand scheme of things, it all coincides in the streets. So even with snitching, even with with uh, fucking niggas, girls, even with with um shooting niggas and 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 you didn't know if they were the person you were supposed to do all that man all that i get i get why i get why the mentality i'm 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 a street nigga and i get why the mentality of some of these dudes from the streets say that say that all the time like th there is this hierarchy of the of the uh some type of loyalty in the streets no if you're if you're a criminal if you're doing criminology there's somewhere you're crooked in there you can't say, well, we all we all crooked. If you're crooked in some type of way, you're going to do some crooked things to somebody else. And I'm going to explain to you why there's certain things that I disagree with what people say about uh, about snitching. I'll get to it, but let's keep it going. It's going to be an interesting conversation today. Who've been around the lifestyle or live the lifestyle, or maybe for the ones who just want to understand the lifestyle. I say all this because there are some people who call Drake a studio gangster, but the second a rapper backs up their lyrics and things get real, they're the first to judge and act all high and mighty. They're the ones that are out here reciting every line, word for word and bar for bar. But when okay, well you can't even, you can't say that because that's like that's like you saying. Uh, Arnold Schwarzenegger is a uh, 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 a studio uh, a studio actor, but then um, I don't know someone who done something real and people complain about it. No, it's all sensationalism. Hip hop, hip hop. Even though we say that it's uh, it's um, it's a genre of uh, all types of facets, I would say you still have to understand that in some in some cases you can't take it literal. So you can't use that against people by saying because they take it literal uh, because they say, well, they come, they uh, uh, criticize somebody for actually doing something. No, it's rappers who talk about, I'm going to shoot your mother. Should all of them, should all of them do it? You know what I'm saying? Like, no, you can't, you, you have to accept what comes with it. You can't say, well, uh, you can't, you, you guys can't criticize this guy because he did something real and call him a studio gangster because he's staying on business. No. No, if he's standing on business, okay, cool. But I could criticize that because there are rappers who, there are people who listen to rap who will follow behind that type of person. And then there's people who listen to rap and know that Drake is a studio gangster. You have to learn how to decipher or learn how to uh, detach yourself from what the music is saying. That's why to me, sometimes hip hop music can be very detrimental because there are a lot of young kids who take it literal. But you can't, come. you can't, say people can't complain about it like come on bro that's crazy the lyrics start hitting too close and shit gets bad suddenly it's a problem if you can't handle the lifestyle stop listening to the music then on, what bro, are we talking bro. about here the hypocrisy I, i'm not rolling with that 
I'm not rolling with that. You can't tell people because if they can't handle the lifestyle, stop listening to the music, then there's a bunch of rappers out there who talk about this stuff. That's all they talk about. You can't say, oh, well, if you don't like the lifestyle, don't listen to the music. Nah, bro. People can, I can listen to, I can, back in the day, I used to listen to, uh, I used to listen to Onyx a lot, right? And they used to have this song, Throw Your Guns in the Air, right? I can, I can listen to that and I can det- uh, um, give, uh, how, how would I say this? I can make my mind up knowing that I'm not going to go out there and do that. So you can't say because, and I guess this, I don't know how old you are, but I guess it's some new age with niggas. You know what I'm saying? Because old niggas don't usually, don't, didn't take that. You know what I'm saying? They didn't take the, what they said and take took it literal. You're saying don't listen to the music if you can't handle the lifestyle. Like, what are you talking about? I, I'm not agreeing with that. See of you fans, G Wiz, G's Willikers, holy smokes, Batman. These are the same people who praises Kendrick when Kendrick also tells the same story, but from a different perspective, highlighting the lives and the code behind it all. Kendrick stands on all 10 by his principles, and he wasn't here for gun and snitching ass either, making that very clear in a verse on Euphoria. All right, so now you mixing it in. And I see what you try to do there. You try to be real slick with it. But that don't, that don't, you can't match that up. That's kind of like saying Nas do that too. Like, no, Kendrick, Kendrick is the same as, is, is what he, he, he don't really go out there and tell you that he's going to do these certain things. And, and again, we can take it what he's saying as not literal. You know what I'm saying? Some people do, do, do these things and they do, and you can take it as, as a little, at their, you literally take what they're saying and you say, okay, uh, the boy Vaughn. Yeah, I, after you find out that he really did what he did, you're like, yeah, allegedly. After you find out what he did, what he did allegedly, now all of a sudden everybody's saying, yeah, these dudes are real. I'm saying, but you can't, you can't use Kendrick as an example of that. You know what I'm saying? Because his type, his way of explaining things is different from somebody like, uh, like, uh, how would I say this? Somebody like Stove God Cooks. You know what I'm saying? Or somebody like, um, um. I don't know who would I say somebody somebody that that's a little more uh a little more brutal when it comes to talking about certain things. You know what I'm saying? Not to throw stove card out there like that, but it's just it's just the truth. You know what I'm saying? But let's keep it going. By calling out Gunner while pulling Drake's cord. Yeah, I know some shit about niggas that make Gunner wanna look like a saint. I mean, since everyone wants to compare Kendrick to every scenario, I figured we get that out the way and put that into perspective. And now I just ramble too damn long off topic. Shit got boring. But I needed to, because on my last video, my little Dirk video, I had an army of people saying that they are actually for the snitches. And I actually blame Gunner and 6ix9ine for that shit. Snitches are the snakes. Can't blame them for that, bro. Snitch, you can't blame you can't blame Gunner and Six Nine for snitching, bro. You can't you can't blame them for people feeling that way. I'll be honest with you. If you look up, if you look at the federal cases in America, most of federal cases in America, you look them up. Ninety, they say n- over ninety percent of people snitch when it comes to federal cases in America, and a good portion of people do do that. They do do that. So I don't I don't understand that, but I'll I'll, I'll drop I'll drop some gems on that in a second. Yeah, I, I don't agree with that. I don't agree that you could just blame six nine and gunner. Like I don't believe that. This is this is this is this is a part of the game. And I believe gunner's situation and six nine situation is not the same at all. You know what I'm saying? And I understand some people will get in the comments and try to say it is and try to say it ain't. No, it's not. Their situation is not the same. If you go off of what the history was between the two, it's totally different. One I can understand, the other one I can't. That's just how it goes. And I'm going to explain. But go ahead. Let's keep it going of crime because they are far more dangerous. They're willing to do crime and then turn on their own to keep themselves out of trouble. That doesn't mean they're not criminals. That just means they're criminals without code, moral. That doesn't make them far more dangerous though. Like they're all dangerous. You can't say because somebody is willing to do a crime and tell on people, how does that make them far more dangerous than the other people who did the crime? Because they didn't say nothing and they took the, they took the charge. Like, no, they're all dangerous. 
can't just say one's oh one's better than the other. Like no, it don't work like that. They all a part of the same uh, bullshit. They're all a part of the same running bullshit. You know what I'm saying? If you're in a room full of shit, you're gonna get some shit on you. So they all in the room full of shit. They all have shit on them. You know what I'm saying? That's just how it goes. That's a part of the game. That's a part of streets. That's why you shouldn't play the game. Don't play in the streets. Because you could get you could get either you can get snitched on or you can get life. Either way, it's gonna end bad for you. You know what I'm saying? It's like it's very difficult to to get in the streets and become a sex a, a successful street entrepreneur. Like you no. Like, like you're gonna get caught eventually. And I understand, don't get me wrong, I understand exactly what he's saying, but I, I look at it totally different. I think it, the whole the whole system is corrupt. You can't say this. Uh, uh, there's moral a uh, moral code in the streets. No, it's not. <laughs> they all bad. <laughs> principles, integrity, and respect, and that's far worse. Let's not get civilians mixed up with criminals. A civilian snitching is expected. A criminal snitching is a snake. Gunna is a whole. Net credit is here to say yes, even when other lenders won't. Bitch, there, I said it, I said it, he's a with criminals. A civilian snitching is expected. A criminal snitching is a snake. Gunna is a whole bitch. There, I said it, I said it, he's a bitch. <laughs> I'm crashing out, let me crash out. Let me act like it happened to me real quick. Act like it's all personal and shit. To free yourself by conspiring against your own will always be disgusting work. Bruh thought he could lose all right, so in this situation, I can kind of agree. If you're conspiring against your own, I understand. But it's a difference between conspiring against your own and actually somebody stabbing you in your back and then you doing them dirty. It's totally different. You can't expect me to hold up the, the, the street code if you did me dirty. It don't work like that. No, if, if, you, if you try to do something to my family and then try to do something to me and I'm supposed to honor the street code because it's the street code and you get away scot-free get the fuck out of here that's bullshit that's bullshit ain't no way in the world i'm gonna sit i'm gonna sit around and watch a nigga do something to my family or try to do something to me and then tell me oh you can't tell on me because it's just code of the streets but you doing something behind my back and you're trying to end me get the fuck out of here no you're crazy you're crazy if you agree with that that's crazy one of my boys told me one time, he said, and I love him to death, man, but he said, he said, it doesn't matter if, if, a, if a nigga try to kill your mother, they try to kill your mother. You supposed to, if you are part of the street, you supposed to understand that that's what it is. And if they, and you can't tell because if he try to kill your mother, then you supposed to try to get him back. I'm like, bro, you sound crazy just like these niggas out here. You sound crazy. You sound crazy. You try to do something behind my back and I'm supposed to uphold the street moral code for you after you just try to kill my mother? Come on, bro. Any of you niggas agree with that? Y'all lost y'all goddamn mind. Y'all crazy. But his situation is a little bit different. Wait and be reborn again. Like we would forget just because you're not fat anymore. Gunna, you went from being a fat ass rat to just a skinny one. You really thought you could shed some weight and he thought he could shed the snitch right up out of him. Nah, bro, <laughs> it don't work that way. You're not fooling anyone but your stretch marks. Your stretch marks knows. They know. That's why you have stretch marks. They're, they're a memory. Those are your memory scars. And you better not make another record ever talking about street nothing, ever. You're worse than Drake. A snitch is far worse than a pretender. Young Thug can't go outside and claim YSL anymore. He can't wear his chains or make music about it. He can't wear YSL apparel or do anything that affiliates himself with the brand he built from scratch because of Gunna's confirmation that YSL. But you gotta understand, this is I listen, and I'm not trying to defend. I'm listen. I'm just be giving him. I'm just giving y'all an object, objective opinion, a difference of an opinion. You have to understand though. This is a part of the game. You you decided to play the game. You can't say it's all his fault. Listen, if 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 uh if if Young Thug was to do something, 
if we was to do something uh, uh, upstanding and it wasn't a part of the streets or anything like that, then it would be something different. But he decided to play in the streets and then somebody came along playing in the streets. It's all about self-preservation. Nobody is going to. Man. You got some niggas out there that will, but somebody, nobody, nobody's going to take a charge for you. They're not going to do that. Let's just keep it a hundred. Like, and I, and I ain't condoning anything. I'm just saying nobody's going to take a charge for you. They're not going to do that. Nobody's going to take like go go to jail for life for you. And then you'll be free and they in jail for life. Like it don't work like that. No, nobody's going to do that. And if and, and I wouldn't even suggest anybody do that. If it was if it was me and I was in that situation, I wouldn't even be mad. I'd be like, listen, man, it's charged to the game. That's what it is. Can't get mad at him for it. It is what it is. Oh, nobody likes a rat. I understand. I get it. I get that nobody likes a rat. But also, people going, you come in this world by yourself, you're going to die by yourself. Let's keep it real. Let's keep it real. You know what I'm saying? That's what it is. You, you, you got your back up against the wall. You think if, the, if they're telling you, they're going to give you 40, 50 years. And we ain't talking about, we ain't talking about, oh, well, um, this could be, that could be a case. We, we, we don't know if that could happen. No, we ain't talking about that. We're saying you in an interrogation room and they're saying, listen, we got you dead to rights. Is your man this? If you don't tell us, we're going to prosecute you, blah, 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 but you're going to take it all the way to the end. Now, some niggas would be like, nah, take it all the way to the end. I know a nigga who took it all the way to the end. He did 23 years in prison for somebody else. And then on top of that, the dude that, that did the crime, he ended up, he ended up, uh, um, something happened to him. He ended up getting deleted. And the dude did 23 years for a crime he didn't even commit because he seen it. And he was there and he said, I ain't seen nothing. And then all this stuff. And they put him in jail for it. And the other dude, you know what he did? He didn't even come and see him. He didn't even come help him put no money on his books. Nothing. That's all I'm saying. And he just getting out. So it's like, what are we talking about here? You know what I'm saying? Like, like I don't, and again, I'm just giving y'all a different perspective because I think a lot of y'all don't want to say that. A lot of y'all don't want to say that people will, that like nobody's gonna gonna uh, do life in prison for you. No, no, I don't care. Even if even if we are in a gang, they, some people might do it because they they're beholden to the streets and and what they tell them. But most people ain't gonna do that. Like let's be real, most people are not gonna do that. Sale is a gang organization. Statements are true. Okay. Yes, ma'am. Gunner was and always. Now, I will say this. We'll be labeled a rat. He's the reason Thugger ended up with the 15 years of probation and had to plead guilty. If Gunner hadn't confirmed YSL was a gang, the case wouldn't have legs to run. Without that statement, there wasn't enough evidence to hit Thugger with a RICO charge as some crime organization leader. They couldn't prove YSL was a gang without someone stepping up to say it was. This handed the prosecution the leverage they needed to keep building a case against Thug. If Gunner had kept quiet, it and played it like Thug did, they wouldn't have had much to go off of. The RICO charge was originally designed for Italian mob families. Prosecutors couldn't touch mob bosses because they kept their hands clean, leaving no trace, no wiretaps, nothing substantial that could stick in court. So they came up with the RICO to take down the bosses by connecting them to the crimes carried out by their soldiers or team who were acting under their authority. I believe it was uh, Ruli Giuliani who actually came up with the RICO charge. And then when uh, what happened with him and Trump, the irony in that is uh, they try to put the RICO charge on him and Trump and all of them. And he was the one that came up with the RICO charge. <laughs> Yo, that's crazy. But um, um, I don't know. I don't know. Uh, I don't really know how to feel about what he said about the whole thing. 
I'm going to articulate it later, but I'm just gathering my thoughts. Let's keep it going. In other words, this entire case proceeded and lasted this long and concluded the way it did because of Gunna's plea deal, his statement, his snitching. Y'all got to remember, this is the feds. This is the feds. They're not doing shit for you unless you do something for them. They, they're not going to just help you out for no reason. You got to help them back. He scratched their backs and they scratched his, even though I'm pretty sure evidence or other witnesses may have eventually came forward and confirmed YSL was a gang, but Gunna's actions solidified that perception first, all because he prioritized his own release from prison. His selfish decision hurt Thug more than anything else. It's comments like these that really grinds my gears. How is a man who snitched on himself calling someone a snitch? Thinking face. Why are you even here? You could tell you just don't belong in this discussion in the first place. Thug had no choice but to take a plea deal. Because of the statement that Gunna confirmed of YSL being a gang in the beginning of the whole fiasco. No, this isn't snitching you morons. The spot was already officially blown the fuck up because of Gunna's confirmation. The bed was officially you have to understand this is how the game's played, though. You know what I'm saying? And again, I'm not condoning anybody doing anything nefarious to each other. But if you inside of if you inside of the uh, the streets, that's how it goes, man. That's how it goes. Let's keep it going. Officially made because of Gunna's plea deal. If he would have never confirmed it was a gang, they could never prove it. Unless other things would have came up to prove them otherwise. It would have came off as assumptions. When Thug was claiming it was actually a record label and not a gang, they needed that confirmation, man. That's the whole point of a plea deal. Without that, there's no deal. What don't you guys understand? They needed that specific piece to go forward with the Rico charge and gonna handed it over to them. Not his statement. You guys keep bringing up the paperwork and, and, and the words he said in the statement. We're not talking about that. Even though that was a little extreme as well, but we're not really necessarily talking. But you gotta, <laughs> you gotta talk about it. It's a part of the case. I mean, you gotta bring the whole thing up. And again, I'm not, I'm just giving a different perspective. I'm not actually uh, defending uh, uh, Gunna. I'm just giving a different perspective. I mean, you can't just say, well, you can't, we can't do that. Like, no, yes, we can do that. We can. But let's keep it going. Talking about the documents. We're talking about when he was on that footage telling the judge, confirming, yes, YSL is a gang. YSL is a music label and a gang. And you have personal knowledge that members or associates of YSL have committed crimes in furtherance of the gang. Yes, ma'am. That was snitching. I didn't realize he actually admitted and said yes and agreed that not only it's a gang, but they did crime within the gang. That is called snitching. So now because of all that, if Young Thug hadn't accepted his plea deal in his RICO case, he would have likely faced a full RICO trial where a jury would decide his guilt or innocence, potentially resulting in a much longer prison sentence if convicted on all charges, as the prosecution was seeking a significant amount of time behind bars. However, there was also a chance he could have been acquitted on some or all charges, depending on the evidence presented at trial. So taking the plea deal was a gamble. He could. But my question is, and I understand what he's saying by he had to kind of do that. I get, I get what he's saying. But I guess my question is like, how can you really, and, and, and this is a serious question. I know people are going to say, well, it is snitching, but how can you really blame this other guy for doing one thing and, and say, well, he had to do it? He actually didn't have to do it. He could have he just said, no, it's not. He could have just kept it the way it was. No, it's not. I don't care what he tell you. It's not. I don't care what he says. It's not. You know what I'm saying? I don't care if he told you a hundred times, it's not. I don't care. And it would have been his word against his. But I don't know if he went along with it because of that. I have no clue. I'm just saying, like, to me, the the whole thing is 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 corrupt. You know what I'm saying? That's just to me. But let's keep it going.
it probably got off a little bit easier, but then again, he probably would have served a long time behind bars, especially with Gunna's statement. Thug didn't implicate himself directly. In reality, he had little to no choice. If Thug had pled not guilty, it would have gone to trial, where the testimonies and evidence against him would have led to a conviction and potentially a maximum sentence. Given the circumstances, his best option was to accept a plea deal. With 15 years of probation, avoiding the risk of a full trial, he didn't snitch on anybody. Do not compare this to gun. I mean, bro, <laughs> you can't really dance around that, though. You can't dance around that. You can't say that that's not what he did when he actually agreed with what they said about him. You can't say like, bro, if he didn't believe that or if it wasn't a thing, I understand what you're saying, but this is not about being, this is not about being convenient. You can't say, well, if he wouldn't have did that and he went to trial, he wouldn't. Yeah, that's what happens when you play in the streets. This is all a part of the game. You can't say, well, well, that guy over there, he did what he did, but he did something similar or something close to it. And it's not the same. It's the same. It's the same. He agreed to it. He didn't agree. He was saying that they wasn't a gang, right? And then all of a sudden now he got caught or whatever happened, whether he got snitched on or not. And he agreed to, yeah, it's a gang, right? That's what happened. I'm not sure. I'm just saying that, that I'm hoping that's the case you're trying to present. I don't know. But let's keep it going. What is wrong with y'all? I mean, damn, y'all never watched a movie before or First 48? No crime TV shows or, or that one TV show, Cops? You guys haven't watched any of those things? I mean, you don't gotta necessarily be from the hood to understand law and order. He had no choice, and them juries would have turned on him because there's a lot of people that's been talking on the stand. There was too much evidence. Okay, fine, I'll take the deal. I'll just plead guilty. Cut it in say, okay, fine, I'll take the deal i'll just plead guilty no that wasn't what happened with gunna gunna came forward and provided extra evidence for no reason i guess a few people are also confused about why thugger asked the judge to do music with gunna in the first place if he was later going to tweet out against him mr williams have no contact with any of the co-defendants in this indictment with the exception of mr quantavius greer that is his biological brother as well as Mr. Sergio Kitchens. He's a phenomenal artist. He goes performer known as Gunna, G-U-N-N-A. -N -N Mr. Williams and Mr. Kitchens are contractually obligated and they frequently perform music together. Your Honor. My daughter's four years old. She's still watching Disney movies and she is choosing a white princess over. Man, if y'all don't get your awareness skills up, Y'all gotta get y'all awareness skills up, gang. If there was like a zombie apocalypse, a lot of you guys are not gonna make it. You're not. You guys don't know how to read a room. Y'all don't have awareness whatsoever. A lot of y'all are not gonna make it. Read the fucking room. Again, what I'm about to say is fake. This is all make-believe. It's all a story and a facade and assumptions that I came up with that should never be considered as evidence. <laughs> but if that was me, I'd ask the judge to do music with my friend as well. Just in case, if anything ever transpired, they wouldn't look my way. I'd look innocent because I want to do music with him. They wouldn't think of me as a suspect for any any future crimes that may and could occur. I don't know. You I mean, I understand where he coming from. I mean, it, I mean, this is this is a very, very, uh, I would say tricky, tricky one because this is a little bit different from uh, six nine. I would say gonna and, and I, and I kind of gotta. I don't know. I kind of gotta kind of side with with what he's saying for the most part on this one because. Even though I say that, you know, in the streets, you, you got to understand what, what comes with the game. You also got to understand that there are some people who do believe in that moral code, even though I don't. But there are some people who do. So I have to take that into consideration. Um, and also I have to take consideration that these dudes were close to each other and they were uh, part of something. But at the same time, I mean, I can't get around the self-preservation thing, so. But let's keep it going. Your imagination, maybe an ass beating, 
maybe something far more worse than that. Whatever that may be, they wouldn't think of me because I want to do music with my friend. They would know we were friends till the motherfucking end. But hey, that's all made up though. A story I just came up with. You can't take that seriously. And I also think Thugger was being funny and trolling. Asking the judge if he could do music with Gunna basically allows him to say Gunna's name in his music. So that means subliminal disses all throughout his new songs, it will be appropriate because technically the judge said he could do music with Gunna. Nah, but... And I can understand that too. And and that is a that is a real uh, tricky way to to get to get make sure you could get you say somebody's name, but I don't know. I think a lot of people take take these things, and it's much more than what we we know. It's much deeper than what we know. So let's keep it going. Some serious shit. Gunna has to hold this L and honestly move carefully. No one respects someone that does crime and the same thing as his peers and then turns around to take a plea deal by blowing up the spot by revealing the whole gang, putting your own team away for years behind bars and also your so-called brother on a 15 year probation. All because you wanted to save your own ass. Take accountability and stand on all 10. You shouldn't have chose this lifestyle. If you weren't going to take the repercussions that came with it, I'm from the hood and I knew I would never want to die for the homies or go to jail for the homies. I knew that lifestyle wasn't for me, so I stayed away. Now, that doesn't mean they're not my family and they're not my friends. It doesn't mean I don't respect the gang and I don't respect their decision. It just means I didn't want that life and I never pretended to be halfway in and halfway out. Doesn't make me or anyone else less of a man on which path that we decided to take. As long as you stand behind your morals, principles, and integrity. Being a snitch, playing both sides, doing all the dirt with the crew, but ready to sell everyone else out just to save your own skin? Nah, that's straight trash. That's unacceptable and real bitch shit. Oh, y'all yeah, know links gonna be in the description. Yeah, there's some things I agree with and some things I disagree with. Um, I believe that the difference between six and nine and the difference between Gunner, it's they they're not the same to me. Um I I would I would uh say that what six nine did, in my opinion, what he did, if it's if it's all true of what he said, and I, well, then again, there were some things that um I I've read and I seen. Um I would understand why he did what he did. And he was not hiding it. He came out and said it. Um, as far as Gunna, I don't I don't think that I think the streets is a bad it's 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 uh something terrible when you are involved in certain things like that. And I think that there's no there's no moral code and there's no uh to me, everybody has uh uh how would I say this? Everybody in the streets uh, that's in that's playing in the streets like that they have to understand that there's there's gifts and curses that come with that and snitching come snitching is a part of the streets you have to be ready you have to be prepared for that you know what i'm saying that's all a part of the streets i understand what people try to say no nah, this is about loyalty this is about no you didn't a lot of y'all do a lot of crooked things to get to where you're at and you got to understand that if you're crooked you can't expect everybody to be straight it's your crooked that's how it goes. It's going to happen like that. So you got to you got to find a way to do it the right way. That's just what it is. Like I understand that a lot of people will be mad about it, but I mean, what do you what do you what do you expect? You crooked. You're crooked. He's crooked. They're crooked. They all crooked. It's crabs in a bulk in a, in a barrel. That's just my opinion. I think I don't I'm not I don't play in the streets no more. But I'm just saying I understand the 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 the, the Everything that's a part of it comes with it. You have to accept it. I mean, I, in the streets, you might not have to accept it, but looking from the outside in, yeah. You think people won't care? Nobody's going to care. Like, that's what it is. But either way, man, either way, that episode for me, man, was kind of difficult because being from the streets, sometimes you you kind of, like, don't really know which way to go when it comes to snitching. I don't condone snitching, you know what I mean? But at the same time, I understand why people do it. Like, it's all about self-preservation. That's what it is.
But either way, man, y'all have yourself a good afternoon. 12 o'clock show coming up, man. Thank y'all for being here with me, too, man. If I didn't say that, good morning to y'all, too. Make sure y'all go McDonald's or wherever y'all going to go. Get y'all some good breakfast, man, and all that good stuff, man. But I love y'all, man. Y'all have yourself a good day, man. See y'all. Peace. Bye.